Under the viaduct on Lake Street near Clinton, pedestrians walk by a series of tents that make up a homeless encampment connected to violence and drug dealing. This woman visiting from Texas says she was on edge as she walked to lunch with her baby. I was a little bit scared. Um, I, like I said, had my phone um, ready to dial 911 just in case. And then, of course, my husband's been on speed dial as well. Uh, just in case anything were to happen. Now, people here have been put on notice about a planned cleanup next week. The city has put red tags on the tents, warning they will be discarded on Monday when crews come in to power wash this and several other nearby viaducts. Well, it has, I think, become clear to everybody that we have a significant problem over here. This is not a regular encampment. It is indeed a magnet for drug dealing and violent crime. Just over a week ago, there was a fatal shooting at Lake and Clinton. Just the latest safety concern connected to these encampments that had Alderman Conway fighting with City Hall for months to get something done about the problems for the sake of concerned residents. It has people very on edge, uh, afraid to go out and walk their dogs, especially at night, and uh, knowing that they could walk into uh, any type of uh, a violent situation has people really, really upset. This man tells us he will be leaving his tent home on Monday, but plans to return after the cleaning is done. One woman who said she lived here from April to September, but has since found an apartment, regularly comes back to check on people. She's concerned about what's next for them. Well, hopefully they um, they go in. Well, some people come in to do a, give them shelters, and then some people go into hotels. Then other people, you know, some people got, you know, family members that might take them, might not, I don't know. Neither Alderman Conway nor nearby residents expect that Monday's cleanup is going to take care of the problems long term, but the hope is with more regular power washings and offers of assistance, it can help mitigate some of the safety concerns. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.